Good Monday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick check of your very hot forecast. Not much of anything is going to be changing in the next several days. We may see a downturn in temperatures as we go toward the end of the week. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. If you've got any weather reports, drop them into the comments section. If you can't stick around for the entire forecast, that's okay. Check out the blue bar beneath the screen and you can see the forecast scrolling on by. Or if you'd like to, again, all you have to do is go Go to WRHE.com slash weather for your complete forecast update there. Rest of the day could be approaching heat advisory territory with heat index numbers nearing 105 plus across portions of the area. So could be a problem for outdoor activities as we go into later on this evening. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors. Not too much time is left until autumn. Believe it or not, we've got less than a week to go until the seasons officially change. That does not guarantee cooler weather, unfortunately but at least we've got less than a week to go if you're counting on those change in seasons coming around. The equinox is right around the corner at six days, 15 hours and change. So looking again at that countdown, slowly getting closer to us as we begin to, again, lose a lot more daylight in the near future. Again, got any weather reports? Drop them into the comments section. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in, hopefully from an air-conditioned room at some point. Yesterday, a high temperature of 97 came within five degrees of a record high temperature yesterday and 75, 10 degrees above where we should be for our low temperature. Nothing in the way of rainfall. We are well ahead for the year. We've got a surplus of 15 inches of rainfall, so could use a little more to settle the dust by just a little bit, but it's not really happening for right now. Got any questions about what's going on with the weather out there? Again, WREG.com slash weather is a good place to go to. Windy Country Club in Memphis, again, showing up a few golfers out and about late this morning, but otherwise hopefully not too many people out getting too much on the hot side for things out there. Welcome to Sarah Nicole Maxwell checking in. Devin Norman, yes, cooler temperatures and some rain would be nice. Uh, not seeing anything like that, unfortunately, anytime soon for right now. William Skage showing off with 72 degrees in around Detroit, lower Michigan. Welcome to the show there. And also Sarah Nicole Maxwell, let it rain, let it pour. Yes, that would be nice. 90 degrees on the campus of University of Mississippi in Oxford with a heat index not too bad. Humidity is a little lower, so heat index at about 92 degrees there. From former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard, in Olive Branch, Mississippi, view of the backyard, looking back to the northwest, lots of blue skies, 91 degrees with a heat index of 95 at the nearby Olive Branch Airport for today and right now. Zedrick Polk used to complain about Memphis heat, and then you moved to Dallas. I don't know, I think Memphis could probably give Dallas a pretty good run for its money out there. Currently in and around the area of West Memphis, Arkansas, let me switch that over, that is the Shelby Farms Park camera, Hyde Lake, looking back toward Walnut Grove Road, and decently clear skies, but let's take a look and see what's going on out there in West Memphis. A little hazy, looking back toward downtown Memphis on the horizon, traffic on I-40, I-55, pre-lunch hour looking pretty good for right now, and temperature 95 at at the West Memphis Airport with a heat index of 101. Not too much in the way of wind to cool anybody off either at this point. Not much going on. We do have a cold front that is slowly settling its way into the area. We'll continue to see this stick around for about the next day or so, and it could, as an irritant, start up a couple of thunderstorms in the atmosphere. Now, we're not seeing anything across the Mid-South as of 11 o'clock this morning in any parts of the area. Right along that front into northern Mississippi, that's where we may see some activity early on, and quite possibly southern Missouri, the boot heel, northeast Arkansas, and northwest Tennessee, basically anywhere north or south of the Memphis metro area. Temperatures right now, live real-time weather on WeatherNet 3. We're back in the lower to mid-90s. Add in that healthy humidity out there, healthy amount of humidity back in the triple digits, and the National Weather Service saying that we could be getting fairly close to 105 degrees, which is where they start issuing heat advisories. Now, as of 11 o'clock, they have not issued that, but once again, it's something to take a look at, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the afternoon for that one for right now. Brian Wilkes, 100 degrees in Las Vegas. I'm assuming that's in Nevada. Hopefully your humidity is down to about, what, 2 or 3 percent, so again, a little bit more comfortable in that area for right now. Kevin Potts, it's hot. Thank you very much. That's a very succinct way of putting it for there. And hot in friendship, Van Jordan Quick, welcome to the show. Rest of the day, running the numbers. Again, temperatures are going to be the main story for right now, mid to upper 90s for highs. 
and then a possibility of a few of those stray showers and thunderstorms popping up from later on today. Again, we're not looking at a lot. You might get a thunderstorm in, say, Collierville and not get anything over in Germantown. It's going to be that localized across the area. There's just not much of a chance of anything really popping up. It's non-zero, but it's not a great chance either. So outdoor activities should not see too much of a problem, and that chance should dwindle by the time we head to around sunset this afternoon and into this evening. Best chances will be, again, just north of the area in that green-shaded location from north-middle areas of Tennessee all the way back up into north eastern Missouri, so not much expected there. Tomorrow morning, News Channel 3's Todd Demers on the air at 4.30 with your complete forecast on Daybreak Tuesday. Lows only in the high 60s back around parts of West Tennessee, but lower to mid 70s throughout the rest of the area, and looking at a pretty hot day with numbers soaring easily back into the upper 80s to lower 90s by lunchtime into and around tomorrow or so. Tina Swindle from Russellville, Arkansas, Back in my own home stomping territory of around the area of KFSM Channel 5. Welcome to the show from back over around the Dardanelles. Good to see somebody checking in from over there. Sunny and hot again for today. Again, an isolated chance of a thunderstorm through about dinner time, but that should be about it. Pretty much the same forecast tomorrow. We're going to take the chance of showers and thunderstorms out of the forecast, so not much showing up here for that. And also seeing, again, less in the way of activity for rain or thunder as we get into and around the area of Wednesday. It's still going to be possible toward the end of the week, and that's where we see a slight downturn in the temperatures. It's not going to be anything in the way of colder out there, but upper 80s at this point almost sounds like an Arctic blast as we get toward the first weekend of, or the last weekend of summer and right before autumn starts, which will be again next Monday. Temperatures in the high 80s, and that's going to be about as cool as it gets for right now. We still need, again, a lot of cold air to push its way southward, and that's not happening just yet. And that can be pretty typical for this time of the year. So we're just not looking at anything in the way of hope for really cool temperatures, but at least we'll kind of get back closer to normal Small comfort, I know, but that's the best that we can do uh, at this point in time. Kathy Ferris Morgan, wondering if we're going to have any kind of winter. Uh, that's a good question. Right now, it looks like the longer-range forecasts from the Climate Prediction Center are showing the possibility of a pretty good average winter. Not too warm, not too cold, but also above normal where it comes to precipitation. If you can get to uh, the Climate Prediction Center's forecast by going to weather.gov and clicking on the menu at the bottom of the page under the Climate Prediction Center, you can find out more about what the extended forecast looks like there. Uh, for right now, it looks pretty much right on schedule, but it is possible either way for right now for us to pick up temperatures pretty much right down the line at least that's what the extended forecast is showing us for right now. Good question, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. All right, into the tropics. We've got a disturbance over the Gulf of Mexico, which, again, is making its way back toward the northwest. It's going to be moving in over southeast Texas, so from Brownsville to about Corpus Christi. Not much of any a chance of this developing into anything else. Disorganized mess of showers and thunderstorms, and that's about all we've got for right now. Umberto, the H storm, is a Category 1 hurricane. Hurricane, 85 mile per hour winds, again, very close to the Carolinas and around the outer banks there. But the good news on that is it's going to be going away from the United States, so not a problem there. Our next storm, the I storm, may be on its way as we look out into the mid Atlantic. This one, again, showing the possibility of some very good chances of development. It's more organized this morning. It's not anything in the way of a name storm yet, but it could be, and again, drifting its way back to the west. Now, again, Way too early to tell at this point. This thing could go the route of Dorian and Umberto. It could make its way into the Gulf of Mexico at this time. And again, way too early to tell on that tracking for right now. But keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and the National Hurricane Center. And, of course, we'll keep you updated on uh, the potential for what's maybe going on out there for the time being. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures out there. Two shot, but only one would show up on the graphic at this point from CC in charge 62. Didn't get a location on this one from Moonset earlier to a great sunrise the morning after, but thank you very much for that one. Deborah J54, beautiful morning from Humble, Tennessee. Nice view of sunrise and a few clouds out there. Thank you very much for that. From Saturday, also in Humble, Tennessee, James R. Gulledge. Nice view of some clouds in and around the area, mixing in with some of that sunshine. And Saturday night sunset. 
beautiful view from B. Nassel. Thank you very much, I believe, from the Rosemark area, if memory serves. So thank you very much for a great view there. Got weather pictures. We'd love to see them and show them, as we just did on our own social media pages. So drop them to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram pages, or again, you'll find me just about any place across the Mid-South around the area with social media out there. Coming up, we are going to be going into storm season number two. Number one, the main one, is from January through about early May. The second one is coming up from October through December, and we can get some pretty nasty storms coming in through here. So now is the time to get ready. National Weather Service teaching Skywarn classes. The first one will be coming up here in about 10 days. Poinsett County, Arkansas, the Truman Fire Department in Truman in Arkansas, 6 p.m. These are totally free and open to the public. Anybody who wants to can attend and learn more about becoming a spotter for the National Weather Service. These are spotter courses, not chase courses. If you want to learn how to chase storms, you got to go someplace else, and you only chase storms if you are an expert and have been trained by experts themselves. Period. End of sentence. Don't argue with me on this. It's that important. Please, we need spotters. Chasers are a different breed, and you need to be very highly trained to know what you're doing. You just don't go out and start doing it. It's not a good idea. So next one after that will be Monday, September 30th, a little bit outside the News Channel 3 viewing area in Big Sandy, Tennessee. But if you know someone who lives around there, let them know about this. There will be about a baker's dozen more of these coming up around the Mid-South in the next several weeks. We'll let you know about that. But if you want to check out the list for yourself, weather.gov slash M-E-G. That's the three-letter code for the National Weather Service in Memphis. Tons of great weather information there. And again, more information about becoming a Skywarn spotter as well. All right, one more check of the forecast before we sign off for this morning. We'll have an update coming up on News Channel 3 at noon. Mid to upper 90s throughout the rest of the day today. Winds again stirring the humidity around, but that's really about it. And maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but beyond that, Gesundheit, that's really not that much out there for right now. And not seeing again any hope of really cooler weather anytime soon across much of the area. So it looks like we're going to be stuck with this for quite some time across the Mid-South. Tim and Jim will have your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 first at 4. Todd Demers will have more on your forecast again bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 at 4.30. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you want to know about, if there's something on here we would be able to feature that you did not see, drop me a line austin.onic at wrg.com or again go to my social media pages and be glad to talk with you about that there stay tuned for more with news channel 3 on the noon show and again coming up with tim and jim on first at four thanks for joining us on our exclusive video weather blog for monday morning weather overtime